Hi, I'm Lisa Chisis. I'm the president of Flexalite, and we're here to show you how to install this fan radiator combination into this 1969 Camaro. My grandfather founded this company in 1962, and we continue to manufacture not just the fan, but the radiator right here in the United States. You're going to hear some uh, production noises in the background. That's because we're standing right here on the shop floor of our facilities. So we went ahead and we drained this radiator. We also removed the battery over here. And we're going to remove both the fan and the fan shroud at the same time. So first got to take my hose off. And then I have a bracket right here that needs to come off. I kind of pre-undid that guy for you. There's four bolts that are on this flex fan holding it together, so those were loosened as well and then both all this is going to come out. Notice I'm wearing gloves and long sleeves to protect myself here. As you can see, we removed the battery so that we can get into this mounting bolt location right here. We removed the tray just for the video, but it's up to you whether or not you want to take that out. Be sure and save these bolts because we're going to reuse that when we install the Flexalite unit. Now, on the driver's side, those bolts I don't care about because we're going to provide you the bolts for that with the kit that we provide. Okay, so you can see what we're going to take out of the Camaro over here. Span shroud the fan and the radiator and it's getting replaced with this unit right here. Obviously we're going to get better cooling with this system but we're also going to get some performance out of it as well. When I say performance I mean 15 to 25 horsepower at the wheels, better torque and you're going to get quicker engine warm-up because I'm not moving any airflow over the engine until this fan gets actuated. Here's a cutaway of our side tank design. As you can see, we have fins on the inside of this tank. They're acting like a heat sink for the fins on the outside. So we didn't choose to put a transmission cooler inside our tank so we could maximize the cooling efficiency of both your engine and your transmission. So if you do have an automatic transmission, you're going to have to add a transmission oil cooler like we've done here. You can see we've got the brackets using these same channels here, so I'm not having to go through the core with the transmission oil cooler. So I'm here on the passenger side. You can see we removed the battery so that we can get access here to this mounting location for our bracket. We went ahead and removed the tray for the video, but whether or not you need to do that is up to you. You can see here we're using the stock bolts that came with this in our mounting location here. On the other side, we have studs that are included with the brackets that go through your stock mounting points. So here's my control module that comes included with the unit. I've got my probe that I'm going to slip into the radiator fins and then I can adjust it between 180 and 240 degrees. I've got terminals here for my air conditioning as well as a manual override for racing applications. So once I've got my installation completed, here's what it's going to look like. So remember the fan came from the factory already pre-mounted and I've got bulb seal going all the way around that fan shroud to make sure that I'm pulling the air through the radiator. I've used the side tank channel right here to mount that electric fan from the factory. And I've also got brackets down here, which is my mounting system for the radiator itself.